At a time when popular tastes favor the curving lines of Art Nouveau, Charles René Mackintosh created objects which demonstrated his modernist inclinations. This high back chair is one of Charles René Mackintosh's best known designs. An explanation of the chair's appearance and design sources is not simple. The chair was originally designed for Mackintosh for the luncheon room of the Argyle Street Tea Rooms in Glasgow. The owner, Kate Cranston, commissioned Mackintosh and the interior designer George Walton to decorate and furnish the rooms in 1897. Mackintosh used the same chairs in his own apartment, which was designed by his wife, Margaret MacDonald, at 120 Main Street, Glasgow, in 1900. Many of Mackintosh's designs for the Argyle Street Tea Rooms had their root in traditional furniture types, ladder back chairs, deep settees, and wing chairs. Although high back chairs were fashionable around 1900, there is no obvious historical precedent for this particular design. United States artist and designer Louis Comfort Tiffany established Tiffany Glass Works in New York in 1885, producing mosaics, lighting, glassware, jewelry, and stained glass. The firm became particularly well known for its colored glass lampshades, which were influenced by Art Nouveau and the aesthetic movement. Featuring stylized organic decorations such as flowers, butterflies, and dragonflies, the lampshades were made of pieces of colored glass welded together with strips of copper. Each shape was traced onto glass and then cut out individually, so each lampshade was made by hand. The naturally occurring subtle variations imbued a unique handcrafted quality. In this particular shade created by the Tiffany artist Clara Driscoll, the contrasting red petals and green leaves interlock and appear to overlap as if in nature. The Parisian architect and designer Hector Guimard was commissioned to make the entrance gate to Paris subway Metropolitan station not only to mark an entry to the new Paris metro, but also to help make the new Paris subway system appealing to Parisians. The gate's curvilinear lines and patterns were inspired by vines and flowers. Symmetrical floral lights frame the metro sign, both lighting the entrance and advertising the metro. This blend of design, architecture, and advertisement was important to modern ideas. Guimard used an innovative modular system to create 141 gates throughout Paris. At first, Parisians were hesitant in their response to Guimard's designs. The Art Nouveau aesthetic was unfamiliar to them, yet they soon grew to appreciate this new style previously known only by the wealthy. Only a few of the original gates are used in Paris today.